All right, so welcome back. In last week's video, I published a startup or released it open source on GitHub and made it publicly available for everyone to see. And uh, let's just say a lot of people have been uh, contributing and uh, just commenting and sending in issues, doing lots of bug reports and things like that. So this week, that is what I will be working on, just trying to structure my project and trying to figure out how to actually deal with an open source startup because I've never done that before. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so there's been a couple of pull requests and uh, one here from Jorgilrj, Jorgil RJ, uh, where he fixed some of the bugs that I was commenting in the video. So that's really appreciative. Thank you. Uh, and then Jarg1023 was helping out, kind of fixing some of the bugs with that. I'm not really sure, I wanna come up with a good way to make sure that people that do contribute actually get some credit somewhere. So, uh, and I'm not the best like GitHub open source project manager. I didn't know that this many people would actually start contributing straight away. So uh, I'm gonna have to sort this out and come up with a good way to both create like uh, a structure for what to actually work on and then also to create a way to give credit to the people that do actually contribute. All right, so it seems like Bogdwini, <laughs> Bogdwini something has added a readme file. So uh, I'm gonna check it out. And then we're probably going to merge this. This is going to be the first merge. Okay, we're going to see if it runs now. I'll just pull down all the changes that I've committed or merged from some of the pull requests that were done. And we're going to see if it actually runs now. All right, it does seem to run. Some of the UI is a little bit different. Uh, but that's all right. This email, this text stuff is like all the way to the edge. But again, that's all right. Because I think it's probably a lot better than what I did in the terms of like how it's built. What happens if I press that? Nothing. Okay, the whole thing moves up. Oh, that makes sense. All right. Now let's see how many people have signed up for the app uh i have no idea how many people would have done that okay it seems like we have had like 10 people sign up for the app there's definitely some fake accounts going on like just fake emails because i don't actually have a proper way of verifying that people are actually typing in their correct emails so uh, there's like a bit of yes yes at email.com uh, but that's all right um, that's probably going to be the first issue that we need to fix or issue that we need to create All right, so I've now started creating some structure. I created the first milestone, uh, which is logging in. A uh, pretty big milestone, but yeah, that's the first thing because there's a couple issues with that. There's some feedback that we need to give to the user, which is essentially like if they type in the wrong password or if the email already exists when they're trying to create an account, then we need to give them some feedback saying like, okay, uh, this email already exists, so you need to create another uh, account or sign in to the account they already have, that sort of stuff. So that's a milestone. Then I've also added two more issues to that. So the Google sign in, making sure that that works, that's one of the issues. And I've labeled it bug. 
and then we have provide login feedback for the users which is what i just told you and that's a feature enhancement uh, so i'm thinking we i'm gonna need to start using uh, labels for the, the issues and then uh, we're probably gonna have to create some more milestones as well for everything that needs to get done uh, but this is a, at least a very good start i think and uh, i'm probably gonna have to create like a project board as well uh, and a wiki uh, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done but the project board i think is potentially useful but it depends because uh, the issues and the milestones is also like pretty much the same thing. It's just not as visually clear as a project board. So um, I'm probably going to leave the project board for a little bit. All right. I'm trying to make some macrame bags or fruit nets. So I'm like twisting these pieces of rope. So now I've finished the fruit net. All right, it's a new day and uh, my macrame net is finished. And uh, now we're gonna see what's going on with the app on GitHub. Uh, I think it's starting to get quite overwhelming because there's so many people I'm getting like 50 emails every night about uh, people doing stuff on github and like commenting oh I found this bug and I found this which is great and I really appreciate that but I feel like I don't know really where to start or how I'm going to be able to keep up with this Okay, so I've spent a couple hours just trying to organize the all the issues that are coming in. Right now there are 15 open and uh, some of them I actually closed yesterday. Uh, so there's, I, fo I closed four yesterday and then there's 15 new ones almost today. Um, I've added some milestones, not really sure. Not really sure about how to add milestones properly, but I've tried to create some sort of structure or organization so that uh, the ones who want to contribute actually know uh, what to contribute to and where and how it kind of works and what is related to what. And um, right now I've had a lot of help from a lot of people, but CK, C. Kelvin has been helping me a lot today and I uh, really appreciate it. Lots of really useful uh, issues and stuff brought up. Um, and there's just a bunch of people that have been helping out. And right now I'm going to take a little break. And so to break up a little bit of the monotony of the work, I'm trying to utilize as much time as possible when the sun is out to go out sailing. <laughs> and so this day I took my mom out and this was actually her first time ever sailing. Yeah,
So a lot of you guys have been asking me which laptop I'm currently using. And this is actually the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. Yeah, that name is just so freaking catchy. I'm pretty much guessing that you'll be catching yourself all day after this just humming the name of this laptop. Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360. But anyway, as a Samsung partner, I actually have the privilege of being able to use their devices right as they come out. Right now I'm running Linux with Ubuntu 22.04 and it has worked perfectly. Super easy to install and has run like clockwork ever since I installed it. For me, the portability and versatility of this laptop has been what I've enjoyed the most. It's really thin and lightweight, so it's super easy to just pop in my backpack and take with me, which to me is a top priority when it comes to choosing the laptop that I want to use. Second only to performance, which the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 has in abundance with the new 12th gen Intel Core i7 processor and the LPDDR5 RAM, which is super fast. It has been able to handle any work that I can throw at it, which is mostly working on this app. And it also has a little hidden feature that I've found, I recently bought my first boat and I've been using this laptop as my portable TV since it has a really awesome Super AMOLED display. I mean, it is Samsung so they do know how to make a good display. So I've actually folded the laptop up and suspended it from a line in the roof of my boat for the ultimate movie night experience. I mean, what type of fun hacks like this have you identified with the devices you own? If you want to learn more about the Samsung Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360, you can check it out at samsung.com. It's an amazing laptop that I really think that you will enjoy. Alright, so I've bought this new GPS for my boat and I'm going to try to install it. Uh, the plan is to basically uh, drill some holes here and install it so that we have it right on the left side. Not any of Okay, so right now this is where we're at. I've created, I've tried to sort out all the issues uh, and create some structure, tried to reply to all the comments. Uh, right now we have C. Kelvin, who's been very helpful, been doing a lot of work. So thank you so much to you. And there's so many more people that have been helping out. Dinner Mom Shad, who's been helping out a lot. Uh, Ratchet Katabra, I bought out all these people. Okay, so here we can actually see some sort of like leaderboard, I guess. Susan Pradhan or Susan Pradhan, I'm not sure how to say that name, is actually a more higher contributor than me. And then Dinner Mom Shad or Mom Shad Dinori. And all these other people have been helping out a lot. So thank you so much to you guys for helping out. And I hope that I've been able to structure this somewhat now so that we have some idea of where we're going. Uh, and then I also created a project board just to keep track of kind of where we're at with certain things. Uh, so right now, these things are like the most important. The uh, adding linting support, which I don't know quite yet what that means. So that's something that I'll have to look into in the next video. And then uh, proper structure of the actual, uh, like the folders and the files, just organizing it properly. Uh, we got some really good suggestions for here. So I'm going to just, and that's probably going to be the next, that's going to be the, like the most important thing to fix next. We also have some other issues here that are in progress right now and then some things that are done. So this is a good place to go to just see like uh, what needs to be done and then where we're at, like what the progress is. And then we can see some stuff that are not high priority right now, but stuff that needs to get done. All right, so thank you so much for watching this video. I know that this might have been a little bit unstructured and uh, that's because this week has been a little bit unstructured since uh, there was a lot more people contributing and there was a lot more stuff uh, to deal with with 
people's questions and stuff on uh, the repository and me just having to all of a sudden figure out how to run an open source project which I haven't figured out yet so that's probably going to be a few videos of me just trying to deal with this and try to figure it out so I appreciate any help and again I want to say a special thank you to everyone who has contributed to this to the project uh, I really appreciate that and uh, I really want to find out a way to properly like properly credit the people who actually do uh, contribute I think there's a way to like add them to the readme file or stuff like that if you know of a way to do that or a good way to credit people then let me know uh, again I don't expect anyone to help me out with this so I was uh, really like just super appreciative that you guys wanted to help and uh, yeah now we'll see what the next part will be but I think the next part will be to add some structure to uh, the folders just to make sure that the folders are all structured and then read up a little bit more on how git open source projects kind of uh, work in general I've been trying to copy some of the stuff from the Microsoft terminal, I think it was, the open source project for that, and trying to look at what they do and trying to implement some of that stuff myself in like the amateur way that I can do it. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I hope I'll see you in the next one.